one of the biggest challenges is pure bandwidth availability. I mean, the world is, particularly the wireless world and the mobile world, is exploding in its need for connectivity and connectivity at ever higher speeds. So with satellite, that's a challenge, of course. Um, there's only so much radio spectrum there. There's only so much power on the satellite, so only so many beams. So we're constantly chasing that. And in our L-band world, we've done very, very well uh, with the NMRSAT 4s and now AlphaSat because we have a large number of beams which allows us to reuse the radio spectrum um, and the way we've been able to efficiently use the channels uh, we've gotten the most out of the spectrum we have and can deliver quite high data speeds in fact somewhat unsurpassed in the mobile satellite sector uh, we can deliver to our customers of course this constraint also drove us to move to KA band with Global Express and the NMRSAT 5s there, we're delivering phenomenal speeds. I mean, speeds on the move in the mobile satellite world, like the satellite world, certainly has never seen before. 50 megabit speeds to a 60 centimeter antenna to a ship or aircraft on the move, that is truly revolutionary. And I think this is one more example of how innovation can allow us to really overcome this big constraint that the satellite industry has faced, and that is delivering ever higher data speeds to these remote environments and in our case to terminals on the move. This need to be connected wherever you go is absolutely at the forefront of the implementation of many of the mission critical systems we see our customers implementing. Um, and so sort of fitting in with that, fitting in with that need or requirement to work and deliver higher bandwidth and data speeds wherever you go is becoming fundamental to staying in this game of particularly mobile satellite communications, but also any remote environment communications. So this internet of everything, as people are referring to it as, um, requires devices that are both low speed, but also high speed for things um, like drones or other devices that require very high bandwidth wherever they go. So this combination of, of devices that is proliferating that must be connected is what is driving demand. And it's a very simple concept. It also seems very obvious to most, but it's very tricky to deliver and expensive to deliver in these more remote environments. And in Marsat, because of our 34 year history of delivering first voice, but now ever increasing data to these remote environments is uniquely positioned to provide these kind of services in a highly reliable way that these mission critical applications require. Well, the satellite services industry is in a very ex exciting time, and I think over the next decade or two, because of the huge explosion in applications and applications which need connectivity, I think the satellite industry is in a great position. It's a combination of taking what we use where we live and where we work and extending that into these remote environments. I mean, that is what is driving it. You know, there's a whole range of those, starting with what people refer to as the Internet of Things, which is small devices at low speed connected, all the way up to very high speed demands for video on the move for things like on the spot news reporting and and uh, transmission from the field if you're monitoring pipelines and trying to do doc diagnostic work I mean some are very high bandwidth demands some are low bandwidth demands and then there's a whole range in the middle so the devices themselves are also what's making this possible because what we're seeing is smaller lower power devices that are lower cost than we ever seen and also lower cost services that we've ever seen. Our ability to deliver a bit less expensively has improved dramatically and that opens up a whole new range of applications for users where they find satellite services are affordable and economical. So I'm very very excited about this combination of technology improvements along with the applications moving not driven in remote environments purely, but driven by the way we live and work and use our connectivity.